Hi, my name's Kayanne, and I am artist, uh, illustrator, sketchbook, uh, journaler, uh, all things creative and artsy I'm interested in. And if you followed me long, you know that watercolor plays a prominent role in my um, things that I do. And I have been using... Um, little set that I put together in this vintage tan and I do really like uh, this little vintage tan but I recently just wanted to change things up add some new watercolors and just kind of wanted to re-select um, a curated set for you know my current tastes and needs and so I had this tan that um, I'd gotten a set of these core by Golden um, watercolors in a little set of six as you can see the tin is you know much neater than bigger than needed for those little tins but I thought it would make a nice uh, palette as it has the lid has these wells for mixing and there is plenty of room and plenty of height for um, making another little palette so that's what I did I use this I believe it holds uh, 45 I believe 45 little tins I have a few places where I have left blank because it kind of helped me see some maybe colors I need I have a lot of colors that are awfully close to each other so um, but this is the palette I ended up with selecting I have the names of brands and names of most of them at least um, that I had a few that were like little mystery uh, tins um, that I don't have names on there. But um, the main thing I need to refer to though is this as I'm painting. And <clears throat> so I just thought I'd share with you today how I put together that little uh, selection, the new watercolor palette. It's always fun. It feels like even though it's... Um, most of them are colors that I've been using for a while. It always feels like a whole new um, set when you rearrange and put them in a new tan and new selection. So just going to share with you today how I, the process I went through and how I went about putting together my new little uh, travel watercolor tin. At the end of the video, I'll show you a, a little project of painting a watercolor illustration in my sketchbook so just quick glimpse there so that's what we'll do at the end of the video so stay tuned if you want to see that so the first thing I need to do is gather up my supplies so I have my uh, old tin that I have been using as my kind of curated go-to set of watercolors and I have the other tin that I'm um, planning on using to create a new set. So part of what prompted this is I got these new watercolors um, that are the super granulating minky, I'm not sure how you say that, um, and it's the tundra set. And then I got a few others as well, and I'll try to link all of those in the description down below what my new watercolors were. But I really love especially the um, super granulating ones, the Tundra set that I got, and so um, I want to make room for those in my palette and maybe kind of reevaluate. Another set that I have are these six core watercolors that are very bright colors, and I have them in a separate little palette because I did not have room for them either. And then I also have this set from Prima Marketing that's called the Complexion set and I really love the browns and kind of what I like to use as skin tones and just kind of earthy natural colors in this set so I thought it would be nice to have everything combined into one set that I want to use and then this last final thing that I want to include is this uh, gouache the white gouache um, just to be have it handy for mixing with my watercolors I also have this kind of opaque pink that is, um, it's get, kind of getting close to used up, so it's kind of thin and 
it's not necessarily very high quality watercolor but I do enjoy it's opaque it's just easy so I'm kind of breaking out some chunks of it to go in a little half pan so I have a whole package here of new little half pans as well as uh, magnetic backs for them so that's what I'm using um, when I don't already have a half pan made so I have my sketchbook here and I'm just kind of swatching out in the process I'm always also trying out this new uh, paintbrush it's a it's a dagger paintbrush and I've never had one of that style before so I'm kind of trying it out also while I'm swatching these colors I've used the magnetic backs before and I have trouble with like they are self-adhesive they already come sticky um, but I have trouble with them coming loose after a while and so I'm using my E6000 glue here to go ahead and just glue them on to start with and hopefully they'll be a little bit more secure and long lasting that way so um, if you see me with the glue that's I'm gluing on those magnets so I filled a little a new half pan with that gouache and then I'm just kind of um, continuing on and I'm swatching some of the colors and trying to decide what I want to keep I keep a lot of the ones out of this uh, tin because they already were ones that I had you know selected before but um, there are, are some that are kind of close together so I'm trying to be a little more selective um, as far as not having you know several that are basically the same color as you can see I do end up with some because I just have some favorites and um, some of those are very similar in color so um, I do end up with that uh, somewhat at the end but I am pretty happy with the set that I ended up with Most of the half pans I tried to write um, at least uh, briefly what what they were on the sides with the sharpie so I tried to include the brand and the name of the color and sometimes the number um, some of the brands have uh, numbers that correspond with the color as well so I tried to add that information on there so that if I need to replace them at some point in time then that will make it much easier to do you can see me swatching over there some of my favorite colors I, along the bottom I have the tundra violet which is probably my new most favorite color um, it's a granulating color and just separates into beautiful uh, colors and then I also like shadow violet and moon glow and those three are all very similar but they're all favorites so I just went ahead and included um, all of them so um, I already am kind of breaking with my intentions of uh, not, not including similar colors. But as long as I have space, um, I'm, I'm going to go with it.
together and I'm just kind of going in and testing some of those colors and see, you know, just double checking that they're ones that I want to include. Kind of see where I stand, maybe what's missing or what needs uh, rearranged a little bit. Um, it was a little trickier than I thought it would be to get like what I thought would be the ideal arrangement of colors. Um, so I shuffle them around just a little bit as I'm swatching here. But all in all, I'm pretty pleased um, with the colors that I have to use. I always feel very blessed to have the art supplies at my disposal that I do. I also recognize that it's not necessary to have all of these to be able to be creative. And um, you can use just a cheap little set um, like you would get your kids the, the little school watercolor set. And that'll work fine and you can create wonderful things with those as well but if you can it's just fun to have um, this abundance of colors and um, nice uh, paints available and I very much don't want to take those for granted you can see to the left um, all the browns, and I really kind of struggled with making my selection. I knew I knew there was some I definitely wanted, like from that complexion set by Prima Marketing, um, but there was uh, so many that were so close, I, I did have a hard time narrowing those down. So now that I have my palette um, pretty much the way I want it, I'm ready to make a little swatch card so I can see for sure what you know what the colors look like swatched out and I will have that as a reference some of some of the little pans I I know well or I can recognize what color they're going to be easily but some of them are a little harder to tell what they look like and so or I'm maybe a little less familiar with them so it is handy to have a swatch card to refer to I'm using a piece of watercolor paper, just inexpensive watercolor paper, to create my swatch card. And I'm cutting it so that it will fit inside the tin that I'm using. I have to do a little adjusting um, because I want it to, you know, fit smoothly without effort inside the tin um, to, so that I'll have it with me. So now I'm dividing that up into little boxes that correspond with the half pans. I really kind of enjoy swatching colors. I just, I, I love color and it's just fun to see, you know, how they, how they look on the watercolor paper. And watercolors seem a little bit magical to me, the way they um, bleed and spread and um dry with some variations in them and I just love that. I This may not be the best layout or, or the thing that makes the most sense to you. For example, I've got the little pink um, batch up there towards the upper left and then I have the uh, rest of the pinks or the brighter pinks down at the lower right. Um, but it's, it doesn't matter so much. It's just like I will get used to where things are at and it will come to make sense to me. So the important thing is just, you know, just knowing where to find things on my palette. So here I have my uh, Finish for Now palette. And as you can see, there's some blank spaces and I will add to those later. But for now, I'm anxious to use my watercolors. So I pull it out. I've been painting... Uh, trees a different tree every day in October and so I pull out these my new palette of watercolors to paint a red maple and I'm using I have a new Saturn red color of paint and I'm using that on here um, as well as a pyrrole red and um, just kind of having fun just playing with the watercolor and letting it kind of do its thing and as I blend and or it blends itself as I kind of uh, dab on some uh, different uh, values for shading purposes. This was a pretty carefree way to paint a tree without doing any drawing or anything ahead just kind of diving in with the watercolor and and um, 
taking advantage of the properties of the watercolor and I definitely would like to do more of this and have been have been doing a little bit more of this lately way of using my watercolors <music> There's my finished tree and my um, curated palette and I hope you enjoyed watching. <music>